go to the pen tool in Infinity Photos tools panel, select that and then add some points. Now I want to just erase or remove that part of the building. So I'm just gonna quickly add that. So you can see now you've got those points, go up to the fill and I can set the color. Obviously that's not particularly great. You probably don't want that. What you can do, you can go over here to layers, go down to arrays, and then you can see through all the way through to the background, a transparent background, so it's cut through. However, what you can also do is just go up here and you can add new curve to selected curves object. So I can add another one there. So just simply by clicking that, so I want another one there, I just quickly go like that and I can do that and I can of course move it around, change the points, etc. Now if I add that, always remember to press escape every time, otherwise you end up having lines appearing where you don't particularly want them. So again, like that, there. So if I don't, it draws that. So always press escape. So you've got that and you can see cut through to the transparent background. And the reason I can see it's a transparent background is because I've got two layers. I'm not going back to this design. So if I remove that and remove that, I've got that blurry design back there. Now, if I select that, it cuts through that as well. So that's what it's doing. It's cutting all the way through. Now, deselect that. You can also use maybe shapes as well. I'm going to go with a star, star tool. Add that shape very quickly. And of course, you could add multiple shapes as well, perfectly reasonable. But with that shape, again, go there, normal and arrays. So you can add that and move it around reposition it etc and also it's still live so you can always go here and you know what I want more intense design like that and you can then move that back and forth hope you found this of interest thank you much